Hi, my name is Allison, and I'm here to show you how to get started with Skype so we can use it for our upcoming focus group. Um, if you're already a Skype user, please just go in, open up your Skype program, and make sure you're updated to the latest version. To do that, you'll just have to go to the Help menu, click Check for Updates, and see if there's a new version of Skype available. And please download and install that to prepare for our focus group. If you're not already a Skype user, it's a pretty simple program to download and get set up. You can head to Skype.com and go ahead and create, click Join Skype here in the corner, and go ahead and create an account for yourself. You'll need to enter your first name, last name, email address. Um, and this is an account you can use for calling anyone, um, even um, outside of our focus group as well, so call family and friends. Um, but make sure you do remember your account details and choose a secure password. Um, this is unique to you. Uh, you can also enter some profile information. You do have control over what kinds of information are viewable um, publicly and privately. So you don't have to enter your, things like your birth date or your gender if you don't want to. Although it does ask you to put in your country and your language just so it knows, the software knows how to call and what to do. You also want to choose a Skype name and remember it. Um, so this will have to be a unique name just to you. Um, if your first username attempt doesn't go through, it might mean somebody else already has your username, so you'll just have to keep trying until you find a username that's available. And then please also choose a secure password and remember that. Once you've created an account, you can go ahead and go and get Skype. Choose the version that's appropriate for your computer. I'm on a Windows machine here, so it'll look a little different if you're on a Mac, uh, but the features should all be the same. Uh, just know that it might not look exactly the same if you're on a Mac. So I'll download the Windows version, click Download Skype, and go ahead and install the program. If you have trouble with any of the installation um, or settings or things like that, feel free to email one of the focus group moderators and we'll be able to help you out. Um, but otherwise, we'll assume that you're, you're okay downloading and installing that. So once you su successfully installed Skype, we're going to go ahead and open up the program itself. and sign in with the username and password that you just created. And again, I'm on a Windows computer, so if you're on a Mac, this will look slightly different, but the process should be more or less similar. Go ahead and sign in. And if you're new and opening up the program for the first time, it might offer you some intro tutorials. Go ahead and click through those and, and get yourself started and acquainted. Um, this is not the first time I've signed in on this computer, but I'll be able to show you all the features. Um, the first thing we'll do to get set up for the focus group is add our focus group moderator account so that you'll be able to um, communicate with the focus group moderators on the day of the focus group. So to do that, all you have to do is add our account to the contacts, to your own contacts here. So go to contacts and choose add a contact. And then go ahead and search for the Skype name, Focus Groups MN. And it should find the Focus Groups Minnesota account. And just hit Add. And you can type your own little message if you want. You don't have to. But go ahead and say Send Request. That will let us know that you're on Skype and you are willing to talk with us and we'll go ahead and approve your contact request and the focus group's MN account will show up in your contact list once that happens. So be patient, but we will go in and approve your contact request. Now I'll go in and show you how to manage your Skype profile from within the Skype software. And remember your profile, you can add as much or as little personal information as you want. You can add a picture, um, some details, but you can also add nothing and it won't affect your ability to participate in our focus group in any way. Uh, if you want to take a look at what your profile looks like, go ahead and click on your name up here, the name associated with your account, and then head over to this tab labeled Profile. And here you'll be able to edit your profile. You'll see your name. Uh, you can choose a picture. You'll see I've added a picture of myself here. Or you can take a picture with your webcam. You can add something about your mood, how you're feeling right now. And you can change the settings to be public. 
so that everyone on Skype could see this information, or you can change to contacts only, which means that the only those you approve to be on your contact list uh, would be able to see that the, your picture and your information. And you have that control over every in piece of information in your profile. You could add a mobile phone or an office phone if you wanted to let people know how to contact you in an alternate way. Um, you could add your city or your state if you wanted to, but again, you don't have to add any of this information and it doesn't affect your ability to participate in our focus group. If you want to see what kinds of information different people will be seeing, you can check and say um, contacts only and see what people on your contact list, your approved contact list, will be able to see about you. So here my contacts can see my picture and just a little bit of information about me. Um, you can also see what the public will see. So here you'll see I set it so that nobody in the public will be able to see my picture. Um, and they don't really have very much information on me. Now I'll go in and show you how to make sure that your audio and your video are set up properly. So the best way to do this is to go ahead and make a test call to this Echo Sound Test service. You can go ahead and click Call. And it will call the Skype Sound Service and prompt you to record your voice and it will play it back to you and that just makes sure that your audio is set up correctly. And to double check, in, or for some reason you're, it doesn't sound like it's recording you properly, you can always go in and check out your audio settings by doing call audio settings. And just make sure you're getting a microphone read here. You may need to click through and check the different microphones that are available to you on your computer. You maybe didn't even know your computer had all these different microphones. Um, sometimes computers surprise us. But go ahead and try each of these devices and make sure you're getting some reading there if it looks like you're, you're not recording for some reason. You can also change your video settings um, and just make sure that you've got a video feed going in. If you don't have a webcam, that's not a problem. You can just participate in the focus group with voice. Um, but if you do have a webcam, you can go make sure you can see yourself. You can see I've got a problem here, so I'll have to go and troubleshoot that a little bit. So on the day of the focus group, we're going to ask you to do three things. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you sign in five minutes before the focus group is scheduled to start. Um, use your username and password that you, uh, that you created when you set up your account. Make sure that you've added focus groups MN to your contact list. Again, to do that, just go to contacts, add a contact, search for the Skype name focus groups MN and it should find it and click add. I've already added it so I'm not able to do that here. But go ahead and do that. And then just wait for us to call you. We're going to call everyone at the same time so you'll get a call, a group call, from one of the moderators and we'll call you all at the same time. Now, as simple as all that sounds, we know that computers can be tricky sometimes, and on the day of the focus group, we might run, in, run into some technical issues. Um, if that happens, we're going to ask you to wait five minutes um, after the time that the focus group is scheduled to start. And if you still, for some reason, haven't seen us uh, give you a call, there might be something wrong. Uh, so what we'll ask you to do is go ahead and send us a chat message so that we can chat back and forth a little bit and try to troubleshoot what the issue might be. Um, so if our call doesn't go through for some reason, Go ahead and click on the Focus Groups Minnesota in your contact list. It's our moderator account. And go ahead and type a chat message to us. Something like, I'm here, but I can't connect with you. Um, and then hit enter to send that off. And we'll chat back with you and try to troubleshoot what the issue might be. So again, wait five minutes after the scheduled start time. And if for some reason you still haven't seen the call coming in from us, then go ahead and send us this chat message and we'll try to figure it out. So thank you for taking the time to get yourself set up with Skype. We look forward to seeing you all at the focus group. And feel free to play around with the software a little bit in the meantime um, and test your audio and video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email either of the moderators and we're happy to help you with any kind of software questions that you have or that might come up. Thanks again and we'll talk to you soon.